Hi guys, it's uh, Tom here and I'm with Matt, Will, James uh, and this is NDCYS Live. So we're back, uh, we're playing some FIFA, uh, it's 2 on 2, it's probably not going to go well at all, uh, but this month uh, is the month of May, and uh, the church uh, designates May as a month when we particularly focus on Mary, uh, so while we play as uh, these teams, we're going to have a little bit of a think about our own mothers uh, and some of the important women in our lives, and maybe a little bit about what Mary means to us. The two teams are... Uh, me and Will are Paris Saint Germain because obviously it's blue and that's Mary's colour, and also it's France and that's where um, Lords is. So yeah. yeah, good choice, good choice. And uh, Matt, who are we? And we are playing as Manchester City, who also play in blue. Awesome, yeah. And there's also like a really strong link between England as a country and Mary, um, so it's good to have those two teams represented. And also, me and Will aren't very good at FIFA and. These are quite good teams, so it should be less embarrassing for us. <laughs> cool, so uh, we're, we're away. Uh, May is uh, the month of Mary, um, and uh, she's obviously like an incredibly uh, important person in our faith, uh, and she's the mother of the church, uh, and so I think it gets us thinking about our own mothers, and maybe like the influence they've had on us and our lives of faith. So, uh, Matt. Why don't you tell us about, like, is your mum important in your faith? Is she someone who, like, raised you in the faith? Yeah, super important. Um, so, a lot growing up, obviously, my mum was very rock vital in... Uh, <laughs> very vital in, like, welcoming me into the faith and also sort of guiding me along my faith journey. And I remember very much, like, during my Holy Communion and all that preparation, uh, my mum helped me like fill in the different booklets and things like that and, and just being with me through it all really and, and supporting me through that. Do you think she's still, uh, is she still important to your faith now? Like, Definitely. Obviously she, she, we see her a lot at the brightest, she comes up to mass and stuff doesn't she? So, yeah. um, which I think is really nice that we have that sort of, there's like, there's like, um, there's like a little bit of a community of um, mums at the brightest isn't there really? Like a lot of, our, a lot of the team's mums come up quite a lot which is really nice to see. Um, and Will, your mum comes up, but she's not Catholic, is no, she? No, my mum isn't Catholic. Um, actually, I think that has had a massive impact on my faith growing up, because although my mum isn't Catholic, uh, a lot of the time when I was younger, uh, my mum was the one uh, driving me around to make sure I could get to the First Holy Communion classes, and actually drove like a two-hour round trip to school every single day, uh, just to make sure I could go to a Catholic school. Uh, which is pretty much that's, that's really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. And she came to all of our Easter services. Of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> She's great. So she's like, yeah. Do she? Do you think she like impacted on the way that you are as a person? Uh, oh, that? absolutely, massively. So my mum uh, gave up work when I was uh, born, uh, so that uh, she could, uh, well, uh, well, be with me more, basically. <laughs> um, and so um, she definitely had a massive impact on uh, the way I was brought up, but like in particular on my faith, like I say, because of the sacrifices that she made. And really, I didn't. I don't think I necessarily realised at the time, but the amount of Ooh. Get that! Oh, yes! <laughs> um, you don't think you realise, but... At the time, but... The, <laughs> but <laughs> the amount of... Um, imp oh, Ooh. yes, the amount of impact she really had. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, my mum was the same, like, she, um, she started working when I was born, and she really, like, raised me, and, like, um, I suppose she taught me a lot about the world and, like, how to live, and she's always been, like, a really good example to me, because she's Catholic, but my dad isn't. Um, but I think it's quite, um, like, so I suppose like the reverse of you, but I think it's quite interesting that she, like, really drives my dad to, like, come to Mass and stuff. And he's always been there through everything because of her. And, like, you know, his support for her is really uh, something that I think is really awesome. But, um, so we've kind of done most of our talking, apart from James, in, like, the first two minutes. Is that, is that what happened? <laughs> So yeah, so that's my mum. Uh, we've heard about Lance and we've heard about Wills. So James, um, what about your mum? How is she important to you? Has she been in your life of faith? Because she comes up to the bride's bit as well, so she's part of the... Yeah. We could have like a really good mother's... Mother's retreat. Mother's union. Or a mother's oh, retreat, that'd be sick. We just invite all of our mums up for like a weekend. There'll be a lot of tea and like... Oh, so much tea. I think. 
My mum would like do all the gardening for a while. She loves gardening. Um, anyway, that's my mum. But what about your mum, James? Um, yeah, kind of like Will's. She's not actually like Catholic or religious. Um, I think she told me she went to a Baptist church when she was younger. But yeah, well, she's like. I was too actually. If you think about that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist. Um, but no, yeah, she's definitely been quite like important um, in like how my faith has developed in that. Oh, because um, oh, because uh, she's got quite a, like a strong personality and like she's quite a strong woman, and I guess that's nice because it kind of like shows me faith through her and like the stuff that she does. And, like it's quite. Selfless. Okay, yeah, so you sort of like identify your faith as someone who perhaps isn't of faith but is living a life that yeah. is like quite, yeah. Yeah, like she's definitely gives up a lot of time to help me, like I used to do a lot of swimming on that, and most Saturday nights she'll be sat by the pool or driving uh, me yeah. and getting me McDonald's afterwards. <laughs> um, and yeah, and Other just, fast food brands are available. <laughs> yes, they definitely are. Um, but yeah, she's definitely helped quite a lot in that. So, that concludes our first half. Uh, catch us in the next video to find out who will win. It's currently 2-1, but it could go either way. Let's see what happens.